Hi, Buffy. So yes, I will admit the vlog from the other day that got six thumbs down. I think that's the most on any vlog ever. It's a record. It is a record, yay. <laughs> so I think the reason why that happened is because the footage, and it wasn't my fault, I don't know it when it's happening. The footage was like really, really, it made me sick. I, when I was editing, I'm like, oh gosh, really? That's why I usually try to keep the first clip of the day short, just in case that happens. I don't know why that happens, but anyway, it's neither here nor there. So I'm going to stop this clip and I'm going to start it again, just to make sure that it's not all like this. Like what? Like this. Because that's not fun to watch. So the first appointment of the day, my only appointment of the day, canceled on me. So it's like, okay, well, let's make good use of time. So I've been uh, watching videos. Uh, not mine and about installing cabinets and stuff like that. Hopefully the inspection will be here uh, tomorrow. We're hoping that he'll be here tomorrow for the electrical inspection. We'll get that done and we need to install the rails. So we're going to have, wow, uh, two rails, one for base cabinets, one for the uppers. So two rails there, two rails here, maybe four rails here, and then two more there. So we've got a bunch of rails that we need to install. Uh, Angie uh, got us a laser level um, for that that we used for some of the panels and that is going to be imperative to figure out where we put these things. So we're going to build one of these, maybe not right now, but we're going to figure out which cabinet is the smallest one so that we can figure out where we need to put the rail. So that's what's going on, that's where we're at. And she also went and got some more of these floodlights. Uh, it was asked on the vlog what lights we, we were using in the front yard. Uh, the majority of them, like I said, are the Christmas spotlights, Christmas LED spotlights from Lowe's. Uh, they've come in four different colors, clear, red, green, blue, and a multicolored that cycles through the colors that like rainbow bright or some unicorn color. <laughs> yeah, I said unicorn color. <laughs> um, but these right here, these are white, green, or red, and that's why we got the gels, is we can actually cut out the uh, the gels and put them in there and change the colors of them. Uh, these right here are really good for uh, spotting like small stuff, like individual tombstones and stuff like that. So she got more, some more of those. We're going to install those tonight. Hopefully be done with the lighting tonight. And I've rambled on a lot right now. This is actually longer than the vlog from the other day. Wow. I should have just rambled on the other day, then it would have been a longer vlog. First cabinet is built. That's the one that is going to house the sink, which is going to go right here where the old sink is. And I have trimmed my hair, and well not here, I did this last night. I've trimmed my hair up here. And speaking of trimming hair and everything, I'm gonna have to come out here and I, 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 I sorry. Are you to come out here? I know, hey. <laughs> We're not done. <laughs> Lay down. <laughs> Lay down. Now that I have disturbed all the mojos. You have disturbed everything. We yes. were like lying down, all relaxed. <laughs> okay, I'm gonna go now. <laughs> Lie down. Everybody. Okay, I'm leaving. I'm leaving. She's take care of Buffy. Sorry. All right, now that I'm not disturbing you, you look wonderful. You look wonderful, and she did a good job. Come out in the light. Look at you. You look like a puppy again. Look at that. She was so good until... Until I showed up. <laughs> you sort of like ring out the bad behavior in her. <laughs> wow. Really, Buffy? <laughs> oh, and um, a, a little secret too. Yeah. Well, not, not to you, but... The last two nights, we've been sleeping with our dogs. <laughs> I will give a backstory now that the initial shock has probably worn off and you guys are all questioning things. So, <laughs> <laughs> you've been doing what with your dogs? <laughs> Buffy doesn't like to sleep in the same bed. She will come up there and she's happy and she's usually like really like this, like just like crazy. Uh, she's crazy in bed. <gasps> and then, um, you'll move underneath the covers and she'll be like, and she'll jump off and run. Yeah, so, it's actually quite alarming because you never see it coming. It just like happens. Yeah. It's, it's great. So whatever's happened to her in her 
before I got her, or maybe it's inherent that they don't like inherent inherent. She's the one that corrects my grammar. <laughs> anyway, that uh, maybe it's just uh, inbred in him. <laughs> that doesn't sound any better. That they uh, are afraid of snakes, and maybe that's what she thinks is that there's a snake underneath the the covers or something like that. Anyway, he looked very good. So anyway, uh, Coda used to sleep in Angie's bed all the time. And since we have a smaller bed here, and since there's two dogs, and we have to kind of be fair, if we're gonna let one dog do something, then we need to let the other dog do something. I was feeling bad. It's like, oh, we should really try to invite these dogs back up so that, you know, especially Coda, he's getting older. What the hell are you looking when I didn't do it? <laughs> um, you know, so they're a part of the family, so. Laying in the bed. So, Coda stays up there most of the night. Buffy stays up there about a quarter of the night. The bed is very warm, so in the winter time it'll be great, but anyway, that's what's happening right now. And the other thing that's happening right now is Angie just announced that uh, we're having burgers tonight. Yes. Love burger night. Okay, so I'm gonna go to the store and get a part for tomorrow's job, hopefully one that doesn't cancel. And then, uh, <laughs> I'll let you do that. I'm gonna go. I leave now, now that the hair cutting's over. Wow, who is that? It's is that Roxanne? Uh, she's probably, I don't know. Very noisy. Very vocal lately. She wants out? <laughs> it works for a second. <laughs> oh, hey, hey, oh, before I leave. Um, uh, I, I wanted to touch on something before I forgot because I have a hard time remembering things. I'm looking at my arm and it's all hairy and that just totally got me distracted. Can't remember what I was going to say now. <laughs> Should I shave you? Yeah. What? Just like the dog? Oh, um... Now it's getting weird and I've totally forgotten. What? Shave me again? No. Um... Oh, that's what I was going to say. Uh, tonight is the last night before it rains that we have to get the graveyard done and lit the way that we want to. So we're going to do that tonight. And then also, Angie and I, what did we watch last night? This is what I watch. The Walking Dead. Besides The Walking Dead, we've caught up on that. And we're also caught up on Lucifer too. So oh, we're just waiting for one. No, we saw that too. What? We did a lot of TV watching yesterday. We watched two programs? Did we watch more than that? We watched a short little thing at the end of the night. Oh, yeah. Yeah, what was it? Peanuts Christmas. <laughs> a Charlie Brown Christmas. There's a reason for that, though. It felt wrong, though. It did. It, it really did feel wrong. It felt like it was totally the wrong time of year, which it was. But um, we're attempting to... Is that Harry, too? Oh. We're attempting to plan um, because some of the lights that we used last year died. And the Christmas trees, the musical trees that we have in the front yard, probably also won't make it. So we're trying to think of something that was fairly easy and cheap to decorate the front yard, something that is different. So we were thinking about um, cutouts for uh, Charlie Brown and doing like a Charlie Brown Christmas themed front yard. Something that also wouldn't detract too much from in here, but this is going to be done by Christmas, so. Yeah. This isn't done by Christmas? I'll have to go find a different place to live. Oh! <laughs> Dude! <laughs> Alrighty. <laughs> with you. <laughs> oh, with me. Okay, then we'll put this one up for rent, right? Without a kitchen? Sure, why not? So like I just said, uh, I'm on my way to get a part for tomorrow's job. And you take a look at this weather that we're having right now. You guys can just see how cloudy the sky is. So we know that the rains are coming. In fact, we might even have thunderstorms tomorrow, uh, tomorrow evening. It's not supposed to start raining until tomorrow evening. However, those clouds are pretty threatening. So my thoughts, my thoughts are it might start sprinkling and raining today. But I'm not a weatherman, so, you know, there is that. In case you're asking, no, this is not the direction that you're supposed to be seeing this. This is from the house side. So Angie and I are out here putting finishing touches on all the spooky, scary skeletons. Got a little bit of 
what I deem Halloween music playing. <laughs> and um, let's see, so over here on the left side of the carport, I've put this orange light here to light up the uh, sunflower just a little bit. And I'm going to go through like the whole yard. We're not quite done yet, but I want to go through the whole yard because I know with the GoPro, number one, it's dark. And number two, everything seems smaller than what it really is. So. Your eyeballs. My eyeballs? Yep. So white is too stark. Yep. Is that color too much the same as all the other ones that are out there? Mm, almost. Okay. Okay. That's not bad because it lights it up, but it's not I in your face. I've been liking. And it also cuts down the glare from from the window over there too. All right, so let's see. We have all these skulls hanging in the tree, kind of like Christmas ornaments. <laughs> And I want to go around to the individual tombstones just so you guys can get a better idea of what people will see when they actually get out and look here. To the left of the door, we have all these skulls. Very top, we have the leaming, leering, leering skeleton, I guess. And you guys know about the one on the roof, and you also know about this guy right here. Nah. Right next to the spider. Hi, spider. Nice to meet you. This is what Angie did yesterday. So we have the purple back in the bamboo and uh, all the flicker candle lights inside the jack-o'-lanterns and on the jack-o'-lantern shelf. Um, coming back out here, we have the rest in peace with the skulls down on the bottom, highlighted in green and red. Which is funny because it's depend. It just depends on how your mind looks at it. It looks like Christmas, but it's not because it's Halloween. So you think blood and slime. <laughs> uh, we have this one here, highlighting some bones in the yard with my favorite and original tombstone, Vlad Dracula. That's the very first tombstone I ever bought. Yeah, let's see. And back here we have a uh, the blue light here highlighting the corn stalks. This green light here comes from where Angie's working and where, where we were just talking about um, lighting up the tombstone over there. We got this guy here. I told you I was sick. And then, who posed the skeleton this way? Was it you or Phoenix? This guy. Oh, um, that was you, wasn't it? Yeah. <laughs> so we got this guy. And then we have this one here, purple and teal, and a little bit of blue, bluish green highlighting this one, Willie Nelson's tombstone. We have uh, this guy here, which essentially is supposed to be coming out of the house, out of the chimney, down the roof, down the ladder, out here, and they're coming towards you this way. I'm not sure if people are going to get that or not. And then we have... The stack of bones over here, and the uh, curtain rod, he hung himself, tombstone, and this guy down here. And then what we showed you last night, but you weren't able to see it very well, you can see it better from the street, but this is the zombie effect. And if we were to have a brand new window right here, this effect would not be that good, but because it's double pane windows and they've leaked in between, <laughs> it's the perfect frost right now to uh, have that projector inside. Oh, three, two, one, there we go. To have that projector inside, project the image and have it not go through a clear window, you can actually see the shadow effect. So I think that's it guys. This is the, uh, the haunted yard. 2020 <laughs> the scariest halloween of all the covid halloween 
which COVID has like totally ruined it because it's a Halloween. It's on a Saturday. There's a full moon. Everybody knows this. It's a blue moon. Everybody knows this. I know everybody knows. It's so sad. Stupid COVID. What's that? Well, since the last full moon. Halloween. When was that? Like 18 years ago, right? I don't know. A long time ago. Yes. All right, there we go. Doing what we can with what we have. Oh, one last thing. Uh, Angie's over there working on it, so the green light didn't capture it. But the, uh, the green light kind of captures these hands coming out of the ground here, in front of that tombstone right there. So, okay. Now I think that's it. Oh, <laughs> and this is Phoenix's little skeleton. He wanted it in front of the tombstone, so there you go, buddy. <laughs> we did it for you. Okay. Oh, I'm sorry. I just elbowed my wife. Ow! My eye? Yes. Okay. Um, there was something that I wanted to say first. Thank you for, uh, or thank you to Tony Fredrickson for giving me a link to the Rhett and Link. Um... It was like a year ago that they put out a video saying sorry about this or whatever, but they didn't really apologize. And they went through saying that we are creators and we're businessmen and about profit and money and stuff like that and videos and content and appeasing the audience versus uh, themselves and everything. And it was it was totally awesome. It was totally awesome. That's what I was watching when you were out there doing that. It was like 44 minutes long. So. And I was, oh, doing the dog's hair? Yeah. Oh, before I didn't I even know you were sitting in here watching a video. Well, I was doing that, and I was doing business stuff and paying bills. I paid bills today, too, so. Mm. Apparently, I like hair in my nose. It's not mine. Okay, uh, so the other thing that I want to do is go through and uh, say thank you to all of the Patreons extremely quickly. So here we have um jolson and ron perkins ben larson lisa w ben massey carolyn flynn jason walker tony fred mike m nicole flynn todd w and clarence k thank you guys so very very much for taking that extra step and and helping to support what we do here it is greatly appreciated and i'm not just saying that although it sounds like i'm just saying that i'm really not and in the next uh, few months it is going to be that much more important and we will thank you that much more because we have that much more stuff coming up in our lives. Okay, so without further ado, and I think that Todd one time told me where that phrase came from, ado, I don't know where it came from, but we're going to do COC, and guess what? What? We only have one night to do. I'm yeah, so excited. I haven't read any of them. I, I haven't. Um, well, no, I, I, I have. I read some of the earlier ones. I read, not read some of the recent ones. Mr. Brot, am I first today? Yes, sir, you were. Halloween fur. Oh my gosh. I didn't yawn. Oh, no, don't. Oh, no. I didn't yawn at all. Doing all oh. those COCs the other day. I don't think I did anyway. And then I don't even start here, and I start yawning. Ah. Halloween fur. That charret, I think you meant carrot, looked like a skeleton hand, and when my dogs do that, we've always called it the speedies. Speedies. <laughs> so you got the zoomies and the speedies, which both of those are fairly cute. <laughs> Bren, those old kitchen cabinets travel more than I do. <laughs> Stop worrying about COC. We all know you're busy with your adulting responsibilities. Nothing but love and rock to you. Oh, mm -hmm. Yeah, love. <laughs> Wait, rock. Peace, love, booty, grease. I don't know. Um, <laughs> sorry, Angie. You are also now a buckaroo. Woohoo! <laughs> Clockworks, wow, awesome. Thank you guys for the lighting tips. You're welcome. And there's a couple more in today's vlog. Dennis McIntosh, here I am at Fran's place for her birthday, which is the 8th. I know that we... Oh, today is the 8th now. Happy birthday, Happy Fran. Happy birthday. That's so awesome. And congratulations on uh, being together for it, too. Aww, that's neat. that's so sweet. The big seven zero. Wow. Yes, she is working hard on the gift for both of you. As she has arthritis in her hands and has to stop for long periods of time because of the pain in her fingers. Oh my gosh. <laughs> <laughs> since I've been here, I've taken her to different stores for her supplies. She watches your vlog every day like clockwork, just as I do. Plus, I never miss Trucker Josh either. Anyway, she is so excited to get this gift done and sent to you both. Stay safe. Oh my gosh, this is going to mean so much. Wow. So much hard work. 
Ben Massey, hey, Trucker Josh has used that word kerfuffle before in a vlog. Kerfuffle. Or is it carfuffle or kerfuffle? Kerfuffle. Ker? Ker. Like curds and whey? Kerfuffle. 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 Okay. It was the Matco part that you had four years before. Oh, that was the, the warranty, warranty part. I got it. Carrie Ann Olson, I started something. By decorating my door, I've started a contest. Zoomies, we call it crazy time in my house. So zoomies, crazy time. speedies, crazy, crazy time. time. The irritation from the hardware in my foot has potentially caused arthritis, and I'm only 22. I've decided that if the tendon is ruptured, to leave the tendon alone and just take out the hardware. If it's stuck from scar tissue, then I'll have him remove the scar tissue around the tendon. Wow. Um, wow, that's crazy. I, I'm, I can't even explain how... Wow. Uh, flying, you're so strong, Carrie Ann. Uh, I said it last night. I'll say it again. I just did. Uh, flying Dutch woman... <laughs> To answer your question on how I came up with the name, there's a song about a flying Dutchman. I decided to change it to Flying Dutch Woman, as I am Dutch as well as Canadian. Also, I used to install kitchen cabinets for a living when I was younger, so from a former professional to a beginner, always do the uppers first. Awesome. P.S. Your comment about my handle had me laughing so hard I almost <laughs> fell off my seat. <laughs> and uh, Wolf Spain Hollow said, had to wonder at that because the Flying Dutchman is a ghost ship. Yeah, that's, that's what I always think of too, is the Flying Dutchman. Oh, yeah, yeah, yeah. <sighs> well, it's like a time. really upset that I'm blocking her way into her. Did, did I block you? You can't get through? You've been bed blocked, dog. What? <laughs> Sorry, you had to do that. Ouch. <laughs> she just crawled up my back. Awkward. Okay, um, are you okay? Do you need medical attention? Ow, my Your butt, eye? My butt. <laughs> <laughs> Do you want me to rub that for you? <laughs> okay, Pinky the Cat. I am not feeling like walking much lately. Lost my mojo. Walking by myself isn't fun and it gets so dark early now. I need some motivation to get moving soon. Uh, need help with dieting. I am also, I'm so lost when it comes to getting the right foods to eat. Okay. Go around I, the outside of the grocery store and only go through the middle aisles. Yeah, buy stuff from for the, the around the outside. For the supplies that you need. So, like, go down the baking aisle and the spice aisle and things like that. But stay away from all the processed crap. All the box food has more sodium in it than Outside you aisles, need. vegetables and fruits, some bread, not a lot, just a little bit. No high fructose corn syrup causes the body to go into storage mode. <laughs> outside edges. Yes, around the outside. As much as you can. Yeah. And here is some motivation mojo. There you go. I think it's working. I haven't had a negative comment about that yet. It's been one day. That's all it takes is one day. All right. Because here's, here's motivation for you also. Nothing changes if nothing changes. If you set your goals and you do something, it doesn't have to be a big thing every day, but always do something to get towards your goals then they're easily more achievable because I don't know if you're doing it for weight loss or whatever, but if you're at a point in your life to where you have weight to lose, you didn't gain it in a day. You didn't gain it in a week. It takes a while for that to start kicking in and it is extremely daunting when you first start because it takes a while to start getting results, but if you keep it up, once you start getting those results, oh man, it feels so good. Okay, I'm done. And even if you only do a little bit, every little bit like if, like even just sitting here right now if you'd be like oh i didn't go walking today if you just even just go walk a few laps around your house ask her i'm crazy i will get up at night and yeah. i will say oh my gosh i've got 1500 steps last night i didn't make it but last night i had 2000 steps to get in like 20 minutes and i was like just yeah. cruising around here i didn't crazy. get them but, but I, you, you tried yeah yeah okay uh well spain hollow uh it is seriously messed it is seriously mess up your foot and try to do Halloween year. Oh, I get it. Is LOL. it seriously? It's a question. Is it serious? Oh, wow. I didn't read that correctly. Is it seriously mess up your foot and try to do Halloween year? Uh, LOL. Sounds like a lot of us are limping our way through mm -hmm. trying to decorate. I broke my foot too. Believe it or not. I had an argument with a pound of frozen butter and the butter won. Wow. wow. That's one tough butter. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> And it's uh, really put a big crimp on me getting things done. Jeez. Well, take care of yourself. 
Be careful. Um, yeah, be careful. Watch out for that freaking butter, man. Uh, Marie Winton, I, my I, road... How do you lose to butter? I don't know. What happened? <laughs> it wouldn't be out of my eye. Did you slip on the butter? Well, it doesn't matter. The butter won. That's crazy. <laughs> um, my road trip from Oregon to Mohab, Utah, last November, we got pulled over for speeding a little while, passed through Idaho. A little while passing through Idaho. And the cop had the strangest look on his face when he walked up to our car. I forgot we had a skeleton in the back seat of the car because it was just after Halloween. He let us off with a verbal warning and told us to slow it down and have a nice day. Too bad he didn't say anything about the, the skelly in the back. Monica Bredesen heard zombies from... Zoomies. Oh, heard... Thank you. Wow. Heard zoomies from Gone to the Snow Dogs channel. They have huskies. Oh. And Joseph Blau... Final comment of the night. Hello, Hellions. Good night, Hellions. So that's it. That's We're it. done. Wow. Wow. We're okay. all caught up. We are. We're, We're caught... all caught up on vlog stuff. Yeah. We're all caught up on The Walking Dead, which is the first time we've ever been caught up on The Walking Dead in it is. three years. Mm -hmm. Over three years for me. I don't know about you, but I never used to watch them as they happened. As they happened, right. Uh, the yard is done, so we're caught up on the yard. We're not doing any more of the yard. Yep, and we cleaned up all the back because it's going to rain now for the next, well, not tomorrow, but it's going to rain. Tomorrow evening for the, like the next week. So we're all Possible ready. thunderstorms. Did ready for that? rain? No, you didn't. Yeah. Ready for rain. Oh, the, the, the window in the chicken coop, I called that yesterday. So that's done. We had a short fire last night, so the fire pit's empty, so the yard looks good. We're kind of all caught up. Inspection tomorrow? Well, we're not caught up, but we're caught up on well, those little odds and ends that... Electrical inspection, hopefully, tomorrow. Hopefully. And then we'll start cabinets. And then stuff that's going on this weekend. And, yeah, things are things are good right now. Yeah, we're, we're booked all weekend. Yeah, we are. We are. Don't contact us. We're booked. Happy haunting. See you guys tomorrow. Good night.